98 fucking dollars to fill up the tank today. 98 fucking dollars. 98 fucking dollars. I have to decide between buying gas or buying food. And guess who wins? Because I have to get to the job that I need to fucking buy anything at all. That doesn't pay me enough. And people want to donate a thousand dollars to fucking cats. 98 goddamn dollars at Costco to fill up my tank. 98 dollars. 550 a tank. 550 a gallon at Costco. 550 a gallon at Costco. This is the work of the fucking religious right. Listen to Robert Reich, who clearly, who, who, who gives us all of the evidence, all of the evidence about how our poverty is a choice that our government made for us. A CEO is not worth 351 times what I get paid, ever. Fuck you, religious right who are doing this and have been doing this to us. Fuck you, profiteering companies. Fuck you, billionaires, stealing us, breaking our backs, stealing from us, profiteering off of us. Let me repeat, I have to decide between buying food or gas. Guess which one wins? <laughs> hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash. Double lines be to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and citation to the elders and occupants of GMS. And men that are liking that is pushing the word with truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hope of the elect. Hey, man, this is straight from Esau, man. You know, this is this is funny to me, man. This is comedy. All right. You know, this was sent in the group chat. And uh, and immediately, man, this this had to be a lesson, man. You know, because <laughs> um, Esau is going through it, man. See, it's no longer just niggas struggling. The whole world is struggling, man. And I got a few precepts that just came to my mind. And also, I'm going to read a precept that was in the group chat, chat as well. But the first precept I'm going to read, and you pretty much seen how through this place is, man. When an Edomite woman is going through hell, hey, you know this place is finished, man. Because all you women, um, all you women of all nations uh, was, was on a high horse for a very long time. But guess what? Those tables are turning, man. See, Yahabashim Al Shai had enough of that fucking feminism bullshit, man. You, you wanted to go out and work. You wanted to be. You wanted equality. You wanted to to have the same rights as men. Well, guess up. You guess what? You gotta you gotta uh, work work um just like we do. You don't see men for the most part complaining about um high, we, we, which we do because you know we're we're under the curses. But we have to get it, man. Because it's no fucking excuse. You know we don't eat, man. We don't survive. Now you women are, are feeling that heat, man. The squeeze. Because the so-called white man has put you women on a pedestal and pedestalized you women so much that y'all think that y'all not supposed to struggle in this in this metropolis, man. Because <laughs> Esau made it so um so convenient for you women to be whole sluts and to do wicked and, and have no accountability. But now you hop out Shemiao Shai is making Esau put the squeeze on, on all people, man. Let's get Deuteronomy 31st 7 first, all right? Because y'all are finished, man. And call law your how about shot. This is a great, this is a great laugh to us, man. Brothers out here already, man, brothers laughing, man. And brothers gonna do responses to this, man. Cause y'all are feeling that squeeze, man. <laughs> This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that had, had, that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So the people that persecuted us, the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, hey, y'all per persecuted us, man. Not just you so-called white people, you damn, uh, you, you Hamites, you dusty-ass Hamites, you Arabs, all you other nations, man, you heathen nations. Y'all y'all persecuted us because y'all was a part of that crafty council, which uh, goes into I uh, uh what is that Psalms the eighty third chapter man Yahabashim Alshai didn't forget man and we we were wicked as hell too so the Lord's putting the squeeze on all the earth all right <laughs> this is funny man let us go through these scriptures man this is this is ain't uh, this is not a gonna be a long lesson man but famine is coming man famine of the word is coming 
famine of the, uh, of the Lord's word is coming. The prophets ain't going to be on the streets no longer, man. Because, you know, we got to fend for ourselves as well. Because this word, this word is going out to the four corners of the earth. If you ain't received this word yet, and if you bullshitting, you lukewarm, you on the fence, with one foot on the other side and other foot on the other uh, other side in this world, hey, the Lord is gonna is gonna is gonna is gonna start getting rid of you niggas, man. All right. Uh, we can go to second a hey, second Ezra fifteen and sixteen, man. Like Elder Apostle always say, we in those times, man. You can read 2nd Ezra 15th chapter and the 16th chapter, and you already know we're in them times, man. Um, let's go and get one, man. Let's go. Because this is this 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 is what makes this is what motivates us, man. This amps us up when we, we see Esau complaining about the this system that's been fucking us over for, for hundreds of years. Now you get to feel that and taste that medicine, man. That shit that shit ain't that sweet, is it? And you know what? Before I get to that, let's go to Deuteronomy back. And let's get the curse. Let's get that curse. Uh, I gotta find it in the twenty eighth chapter. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, and um, damn, I'm trying to look for the scripture when it says about um. Um, us not knowing, uh, for tomorrow, pretty much. Um, damn, hold on, Salakia. Oh, man, 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 man. I'll, I'll get that, Lord's will. But basically, that scripture in Deuteronomy 28 chapter about the curse about, um, us not knowing about what's going to happen tomorrow, how we're going to feed our children, um, how we're going to, um, make, make, um, enough money to pay our bills. That's that scripture. Lord's will comes to me or I find it, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want dead air. All right. But let's go into second Ezra 15. All right. Second Ezra chapter 15 verse. Um, let's start at 37. It says, behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack as when a went, uh, when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son within two or three hours of her birth. Great pains can pass her, her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. And these these pains that you're suffering are not just physical. They're uh they're they hurt your pockets, um, they hurt your morale, your your mental. Because these these pains, these these rising um gas prices, this inflation is tearing people up. And it's and it's also setting up that narrative or setting up the Lord's um um uh prophecies, man. Because they're going to start coming after mayors, governors, uh, the president. They're going to start coming after all these uh, people that they think that are responsible for this, the rise in gas inflation, uh, the famine, uh, these pestilences. They're going to come after all these people and it's going to be fighting. We're going to have to get Isaiah 19, the 19th chapter, and, and we're going to get uh, second answer to 15. Um, let's keep going. Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Um, let's jump down. Now, let's go into uh, let's go back to uh, 2nd 15 verses. Oh, shit, I'm bugging the fuck out. I was in the 16th chapter. I'm sorry. I'm bugging. 2nd chapter 15. In verse 18. So that was I was just reading out of 16 chapter Salakia. I was too excited, man. Salakia. Second Ezra 15 and verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. And that's what's about to happen. These people are gonna start robbing your groceries, they're gonna start kicking in your door, taking your spoils, man. So you're gonna need a man, not just any man, a man and lord in that day. It's, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American women, you hard-headed women, man. And for you women that have a so-called man of the Lord, a man that believes in Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai, hey, you better, you better, you better praise the Lord, man. Hey, you better, you're going to have to start worshiping that, worshiping that, that man's feet. Because that prophecy, Isaiah 4 and 1, is going to come real quick, man. Because the Lord is tired, man. How much more, how much more um, of us suffering, you niggas. The Lord, Yahweh Shai has to suffer, you niggas, man. He's ready to get down and get down, man. He's ready to get dirty, man. All right. 
And let's jump back to uh, 2 Ezra 15, verse 15. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. If <laughs> we going back, man, that means the modern day sword is the is the gun. Hey, but you're gonna have niggas with swords in their hand, literal swords, man. They gonna have swords in their hand. <laughs> it's gonna be all out hell, man. <laughs> For there shall be sedition among pe among men and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings or princes, and the course of their acts shall stand in their power. There it is. It's going to it's going to be all out hell, man. Sedition is try to the overthrow of a government. It's going to be a lot of riots. There's going to be a lot of um, a lot of people seducing people to incite riots, man. It's going to be a lot of instigation. It's going to be all out hell. And this and this is just the small of it, man, because we we about to get revelations and we're going to get a couple more scriptures and we're going to close out because basically you got the point. The bitch, the bitch just complaining about ninety eight dollars worth of gas. Hey man, y'all, you wasn't complaining about it when Jake was struggling. Hey, we continue to struggle, man, as a nation of people. Our people catching hell, but you know what's good for them niggas, man? Cause they're not catching, they're not catching righteous hell. They're catching unrighteous hell. Cause you niggas all they eat pork, commit adultery, uh, not not following the laws of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. So y'all doing this all on yourself, man. You know, niggas got gout, niggas obese. And, and you know the Lord is spiting us. We still under the curses. Don't forget, Jake, you Israelites. We're still under the curses. All right, until the Lord lift lift this lift us up out of these curses. And the only one who can do that is Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. So don't forget that, Jake. Don't forget high horse, man. You might have got a good job, a nice fucking Hellcat or something. You might have got a promotion on your job, but guess what? You might have a fine woman with a fat ass, and she's pretty submissive. Don't forget, we're still under the curses. That's a lesson in itself. All right. Let's go to Isaiah. You can f hear the excitement in us, man, because we're ready for this place to go down, man. You know, this is Isaiah, uh, Isaiah chapter 19 in verse. We can start at night, verse one. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord, Yahweh, right up upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. That's that's self-explanatory, man. All right. So this place is going down, man. And of course, our temptation is right around the corner where everybody's going to be tried. And that's it, man. This place is finished. So giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, Bashim, Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, peace and citation to the elders and occupants of GMS, and men that are liking that is pushing word with truth and sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful, like Wabad Babal, and death to Esau.